Hey, this is Ken at Capital Advantage Tutoring. It's my job to get you past the Series 7 exam. So what I'm going to try to do today is there's another little niche of option questions that people get screwed up on. It's when you have a buy and a sell, and it's not exercise or expire or anything like that. It's literally buying an option and selling it or closing out a purchase. So a lot of people get confused on it. And I do think the vendors go a little deeper than they need to on this, try to really confuse you. But let's do some questions and figure this shit out. Okay, so here's the first question. Do you remember... Keep in mind, when it's the buy and sell stuff, it's actually pretty easy. You just got to make sure you read everything and catch what they're saying. Sometimes they hide it in a story. Sometimes they don't. I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to show you how the vendors do it, where they try to screw with you a little bit. Here, let's read this first. Buy one XYZ, March 60, call it five, when the stock is at 58. You know, we don't give a shit about where it's trading. When we put it on, just don't. XYZ then increased to 70, and he closed the option. Very sexist. Could be a woman. He closed the option at 12. What is a taxable effect? Okay. When they throw that taxable effect in, that just means what do you, what's the realized gain or loss. That's all it really is. It's nothing crazy. Now, let's get let's really dive into this. So first of all, to understand this a little bit, you need to get down to this. This is the product. Oh, I did it in white. I did it in white. So let me see if I can change that to black. So this is the product, okay? The XYZ March 60 call is the product that you're buying or selling. You have to get in your head that it's literally just like, it's a piece of paper. This is my snowblower. This is my snowblower. So really, it's just a piece of paper that says whoever it is can buy stock. You can't see it because it's all the green screen stuff. So now, this is what we're doing. We're buying the option at five. We're not buying it at 60. We're not buying it at 58. We're buying the option at five. We, put, we bought the 60 call. So the XYZ March 60 call is the product. And we're buying it at five. Okay, so boom. We bought it at five. So we're going to put down here. I mean, it could be, once they say buy and sell, it doesn't matter what calls, puts, widgets, hats, hairs, wigs, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I used to I use dirty words sometimes with some students, but I'm not going to do it now. Dirty words. Okay, now, buy one call, doesn't matter, at five. And then what happened? Stock went, is at 60, 58, don't care. It went to 70, I may care, in case it gives me that story. And then we closed the option at $12. So literally, it's just and sold at 12. Okay, I'm yelling. It's sold at 12. Put a little dollar sign here. Sold at 12 bucks. So really what I do, I bought the thing at five and I sold it at 12. I made $7. That's all it is. I'm going to, we have a lot more to do, but that's all it is. I made $7. So which is times a hundred, $700 gain. Okay, that's all it is. That's really, it all comes down to that. I'm going to show you other, other ones, but I'm going to throw a little curve on this one. Okay, so let's get rid of this part. And I'm going to change it to, and again, this is going to be a different answer, so it won't be on the list. I'm going to change it to closed at intrinsic value. Those bastards, I hate when they do that. Intrinsic and in the money mean the same thing. So let's do this. So the the beginning does not change. It's still by one March 60 call at five. And then we close it at intrinsic. And now we don't care about when we put it on, so I don't care about the 58. But I do care about the 70. So it's trading at 70. So how much in the money is it? So it's a 60 call. It's in the money or has intrinsic of $10. This is where they screw with you. So it has an intrinsic of 10. So I'm going to say you bought the call at 60. You bought the 60 call at 5. See, I just did it. You bought the 60 call at 5. And then you sold it at intrinsic. And intrinsic, hope I can spell it right and not make an idiot of yourself, is 10 bucks, right? So we bought it at five and sold it at 10. So what do we make? Five bucks, $500. It's that simple, okay? I'm not saying it's easy to do, but it's fucking easy to do, okay? You should, when you see the buy and sell ones, you should be like, oh, I like this, I can get this, it's gonna work. Okay, that's one problem. I showed you two different ways. One where they give you the premium, super easy, buy and sell. And another one where they don't, where they do intrinsic, which a lot of the vendors love to do. Okay, let's get on to the next one. I'm gonna pause you, see you on the other side. Okay, so here's the next one. A customer in November writes four ABC 35 puts at five and buys them back at seven. Okay, so now we got to remember this. This is another little twist. So we wrote them, sold them. So what did we do? Let's, you don't have to do this every time, but I want you to get it in your head. I got to change the color back to this so I can see it. I don't look like an idiot. This is the product, okay? We sold four of them. We sold the ABC 35 puts at five. Literally, once you say the word buy back or cover, they might say cover Whatever it is, I don't care what it is. All I care is what I did. So I sold this at five, okay? So I sold the puts 
at five. And then I bought them. So I got $5 in, and then I bought the puts at seven. So then I lost two. And you would think you were done, but we're not, because here's the thing. If you ever see your number, look, it's right there, $200 loss. Wait, how do I know it's a loss? Well, if I sell something for five and then buy it for seven, I spent more than I brought in, it is a loss, okay? So I lost 200 bucks, which sucks, okay? But it's literally, that's my entire investing. When I buy options, I'm good at trading them, can't make money on them. So maybe I'm not so good, I don't know. Yeah, I lost 200 bucks. But here's the thing. So I look at this and I go, wait a second. Okay, I see my there. But I also see a multiple of my answer. So maybe I need to go back and check. It's seriously the way you do it. I see a multiple of my answer. I'm going to go back and they do this all the time. Oh, look, there's four of them. So four times 200, this is going to be an $800 loss. Look, see all the way down there. Boom. A lot of, lot of extra arrows in there. But it's an $800 loss. That's what's happening here, okay? So since we've sold it at five and bought it at seven, we lost two. We did it four times. And that's why it's an $800 loss. Now, keep in mind, if they're the same amounts, you don't have to worry about how many. Just do the numbers, get your number, and then multiply at the end. Kind of like when you have an op when you have an option and there's multiple contracts, like two, three, four, five. I'm just throwing it in here as an add-on. If you have two, three, four, five calls and they go break even, it doesn't really matter how many they have. Because if they have eight, say this one, if you if you sold four ABC 35 puts at five, it's still break even still 30 regardless. Okay. So break evens 30 does not matter. It's still 30. Now that doesn't matter here. I'm just saying that whether it's 4, 10, or 30 options, it's still 30. Now I'm going to change this up again a little bit and see what we can do. Let's change it to, oh, hold on. I need to distract you. There we go. So let's try this. Let's say the stock dropped. Stock dropped to, give me a price, guys. Okay, right. So 28. Good. Okay, thank you very much. So stock dropped to 28. Now, and then we closed it at intrinsic. So, okay, what's the, so what's the intrinsic? It's in the money amount. So we sold it at five. Uh-oh, I think I screwed up. Sold it at five and then bought it back, closed it back, bought it back at intrinsic. So what's the intrinsic here? Well, the stock's in the money by seven points. That's just horrible, right? Okay. So it's seven points. So in reality, the in the money amount is intrinsic. It's literally the same thing. Not 47, seven. So I close it at intrinsic. Literally the same thing so that maybe that's what happened. So I close it at intrinsic was the in the money amount. So I sold it at five. The intrinsic is seven. I sold it at five. I bought it at seven. I lost those dollars times four, 800. I don't know how to say 800 in Spanish. Okay, that's number two. Hopefully this is helping. I hope it is. And I'm fucking hyper. Because it's 9 and on a Sunday and the Jets won. They beat the Patriots for no good reason other than maybe Belichick leaves the Patriots with a loss to the fucking Jets, baby. Okay. Okay, here's now one. Here's now one. Is that English? I have no fucking idea. Here's one that looks a little harder, and we're going to get through it together, people. Oombaya, we're going to get it together. Okay. With the S&P 100 index at 238, you know what? I don't give a shit, okay? The customer writes five 245 calls a tree, writes five 235 puts a two. Then the customer related buys. Oh, buys. I love it. That means it's easy, buys it back. Crazy Eddie, crazy Kenny, where the options are insane. Okay, the customer later buys the calls at four and the puts expire worthless. So this is literally another buy and sell, but it's two options. And I'll show the old intrinsic thing, which both Achievable Cap and NSTC love to throw at you when the test probably doesn't. So let's start this off. Make sure I'm recording so I'm not being indulgent for nothing. Okay, here we go. So we saw, again, now... This is what I do. You don't have to do this. I know. Wait, okay, there's five of them. So I'm going to put a little X5 up here, okay? Just to remind me that I'm going to have to multiply by five. And I'll show you a little trick to remember. If you're looking at the answers, you should probably see it. So sold a 245 call at three. I wrote it right. Then I also sold a 235 put at two. Okay. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. But I, I say once I see the word buy to call back and stuff, I don't worry about break even. I don't worry about max gain, max loss. I don't know. I don't worry about any of that. I'm literally just doing this. Okay. So I sold for three and I sold for two. I put them together since I sold them both, put them together. And that's a total of five bucks, which is really 500. So I now have $500 in my pocket from selling it. Now, later, much later, I buy it back 
I buy back the call for four. And the option expires worthless, which is literally like buying it back for nothing, which is a good thing in a case. So in this case, I buy them back for four and zero. So I spend four. So I brought in five. I so I brought in, I sold for five, paid four. That means I have a plus 100 profit, okay? That works. And then times five, there's my 500. But let's say you forget to do the times five. But we all know because you listen to me because my screaming idiocy you go, oh, it's a $100 profit. Oh, wait, look, this is a multiple of it. Let me go back, check the numbers. Good, you idiot. You had to remember to put X5 there. Times 100 times 5 is your $500 profit. So this is a $500 profit. There is another way to do this in case you don't like this. It's all going to end up the same way. So let's do it this way. We sold the call for three and we bought it for four. That's a loss in my books. So that's a minus one. That's going to be minus $100. Now, and then we sold the puts for two and bought it back for nothing. To me, that's a gain. So that's a plus two, plus 200. Let's do the dollar sign to keep it simple. So we lost one and pay, and got two. That's another that's 100 bucks in my book. So either way you do it, whether you're adding them up this way, this way, I can't speak, this way, you know, with the totals, or you do it on a singular option. I used to like doing it this way, but I'm starting to like do it up and down now. So that's what she said. So 100, there you go, Mike, you're going to love that. So now sell a hundred, buy for a hundred, you sell for two, you make a hundred bucks times five is 500 bucks. Now let's throw the achievable curve in here. Welcome back. Cause I can never left. Okay. So now stock dropped to two thirty, and then we covered, we bought it back for the infamous intrinsic. By the way, I say bought that way. Cause that's from 20 years on the, Stock exchange, we, we save time. Everything's about saving time. So we want to take out the couple extra letters it says bought. A lot of times it says B. Okay. So we bought it at intrinsic. So let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. So now, first of all, I sold the calls, sold the 245 calls to three, bought them there. So let's actually, let's take out the confusing part here. This part doesn't matter. Oh, um, I'll do this. So I stock dropped it to 30 and I bought it at intrinsic. So just work through each one. Okay. So in this case, and remember, two intrinsic is the amount above or below, which I think I explained before, but I might not have. So, or watch my little video. So intrinsic, I'll put it here. Intrinsic is the amount above the call or the amount below the put. Okay. So again, two different. It doesn't matter. Buy or sell. Premium doesn't matter. So the stock dropped to two thirty. The thirty. I can't speak. Dropped to two thirty. So if it's a two forty five call, wow, I am just not speaking. Two forty five call. It's out of the money, the zero. So I have zero intrinsic. So that's my, that's that. I have zero intrinsic. So I bought it back for nada, for Zippo, for Zilch, for Z. Okay, so now the next one is, I know that's really Z, but whatever. So now I sell a 235, put it two. And then I bought it back for intrinsic when it said 230. So that's going to be 230 from 235 is five. So I'm going to buy it back for five bucks. That's just how unfortunate. So it go, I bought it back for $5 because that's the in-the-money amount or the intrinsic. So I sold the call for three and bought it for nothing. So I make three, 100. And then I sold the put at two and bought it for five. And that's, unfortunately, minus three. I just love these things. So that means I made no money. It's like kissing your sister. It's like break even. Okay, that is the buy and sell options. I hope that helped a little bit. That's not so bad. I hope I didn't screw you up by doing this, but I'll edit it out and try to make it me sound like not such an idiot. Or I won't, and I'll just let you guys go on. Hey, guys, check me out every Tuesday and Thursday night on 8.30 p.m. on you on the tube of you. And um, and we do our, our classes every Friday night. You have to pay for that shit. But the YouTube stuff is free as free can be. Okay? You all have a good night. Wash your hands, and I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this shit.